Parachutes. Hi, my name's BJ. Welcome to Science Time, experimenting at home. Do you like experimenting? I do. And we can do lots of experiments at home. Today, we're experimenting with parachutes. Parachutes is what people use when they jump out of an aeroplane to make them fall safely to the ground. How do things fall? I've got a block here. What do you think will happen when I let go of the block? Well, let's see. <laughs> do you see? It fell straight down to the ground. Why did the block fall to the ground when I let it go? Gravity. Gravity is the force that pulls things down to the ground. I wonder if all things fall the same. What do you think? Let's experiment and find out. When you do an experiment, you start by asking a question, having a bit of a think about what you think might happen, and then you do a test to find out. So this time, we're going to drop some paper. Do you think the paper will fall the same way the block did? Well, let's test and find out. Did you notice the paper fell a lot slower than the block? I wonder why. I wonder if it's got to do with the shape of the paper. Let's change the shape of one of them. We'll scrunch it up like this. And now, do you notice they have a different surface? This one has a small surface similar to the block, but this one has a larger surface. Do you think that will affect the way they fall? Let's test and find out. Did you see what happened? The one with the small surface fell straight down, whoop, just like the block did. But the one with the large surface, when that falls, it catches air underneath and the air makes it fall down slower. That's how a parachute works. We'll pick up these. I wonder if we can make a parachute out of this piece of paper to make our block fall slower. I'm going to take a seat over here and we're going to make this piece of paper into a parachute. So making a parachute is pretty easy. All you need is some string. I've got four pieces of string here. You can use wool, anything you like, and I've cut them all the same length. And then I've taped it to my block like that. And now we're going to tape a piece of string to each corner of our piece of paper. When you're making a parachute, you can use tape or you can tie it, whatever you like. I'm going to use tape today. So I'll tape it to each corner. How many corners does our paper have? Four. Four corners. So one, two, I'll tape it to this one, three, and four. There we go. Tuck that bit under. So now we've made a paper parachute. Let's test and see which falls the slowest, our block without the parachute or our block with the parachute. Let's find out. So we'll get our block and our paper parachute and I'm going to drop them both at the same time and see which one falls the slowest. What do you think is going to happen? Shall we test and find out? Did you notice the paper parachute made the block fall slower? Now, we made a parachute out of paper, but you can make a parachute out of all different sorts of things. So over here, I've got lots of things that I found around the house. So that time we made a parachute out of paper, but you can use all different materials that you find around the house to make parachutes. Here's some I've collected. I've got some fabric. I've got a tea towel here. This is quite heavy and quite thick. Or a scarf, which is a little bit lighter and a bit thinner. So you might be able to use fabric, just like this. Or what else have I found? I've found some kitchen paper, which is quite light and nice and flat. Or some plastics, 
different plastic garbage bags. This one, the dark one's a bit heavier, a little bit thicker, where this one's quite thin. I wonder how they would work to make a parachute. All the other things I found as well, I found some cloth. This is very light. I wonder how that will work. Some baking paper and some foil and some plastic wrap. This is very thin. I wonder how that would work as a parachute. I've also found some kitchen paper. Hmm, tissue, that's very light. I wonder if that would work well for a parachute. Also some cardboard. This is nice and flat, but it doesn't really fold or bend, does it? It's quite thick. I wonder how that would work to make a parachute. So you can collect lots of different stuff from around your home and discover how they work as a parachute. I'll put all these back in the box because here I've made a few parachutes from some of those things I found around the house. And we can do an experiment to find out which falls the slower. We'll have to test. But to make it a fair test, we're only going to change what the parachute is made out of. So this one's baking paper and I've got some other stuff as well. We're going to keep everything else the same. We'll keep the toy the same, the string the same. We'll keep the shape the same. What shape is this? A square. So we'll keep everything the same except what the parachute is made out of. You see, if we change more than one thing, if I change what the parachute is made out of and also change the toy, then we won't know why it's falling as slow as it does. Is it because of the toy or because of what the parachute's made out of? So when we do a fair test, we just change one thing at a time. So now let's test and see which of these parachutes falls the slowest. So we'll start with our baking paper. So hold up nice and high. When you experiment with parachutes at home, it's important to hold it up as high as you can. You might even want to stand on a chair so you can get extra high, but make sure your grown-ups there to help you. And also, so we can test how slow they fall, I'm going to count. So let's start with our parachute one, and I'll count to see how slowly it falls. One, two, three, four, up oh, for the count of four. Let's try one made of a cloth. Do you think it will fall faster or slower? Hmm. Let's test and find out. One, two, three, up, oh, <laughs> only to the count of three. Let's try one with our garbage bag. How fast do you think that will fall? Shall we count? One, two, three, four, four, up, oh, almost to the count of five. And let's try our paper, kitchen paper one. Can you count with me? One, two, three, four, up to the count of four. So, this was to the count of two and the count of four. Both the baking paper and the garbage bag went almost to the count of five. So, they went the slowest. So at that time, we changed what we made our parachute out of. What else can we change about our parachute? We could change the size of our parachute. So here, I've made a bigger parachute out of our garbage bag. Now this time, do you think it will fall faster or slower? What do you think? Let's test and find out. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, almost to the count of six. So the bigger parachute fell a lot slower. What else can we change about our parachute experiment? We've changed the material. We've changed the size. Why don't we change the toy on the bottom? So I'll just unwind that one. There we go. This time I'm going to put another block on. So now we've got two blocks, so it's heavier than it was before. Do you think that will change how slowly our parachute falls? Let's test and find out. Ready? 
one, two, three, four. Up, oh, only to the count of four that time. So you can experiment with different toys on your parachute as well and see how that affects how slowly it falls. A fun activity you can do at home. You can get a container like this and attach it to the bottom of your parachute. I wonder how slowly it will fall with the container on the bottom. Let's test and find out. One, two, three, four. To the count of four. And now you can put different things in your container, different toys. I'm going to put a block in. Do you think it will change the way it falls? Let's experiment. Ready? We're going to do a test and find out. One, two, three. Up, oh, only to the count of three. So you can put different toys in your container and see how that affects how slow your parachute falls. Now, with our parachute, we've been dropping it. Is there any other way that we could make our parachute fly? Let's try throwing the parachute. So this time, instead of holding it up, I'm going to throw it. So I'll get the block all ready. Here we go. What do you think is going to happen? Let's test and find out. Ready, set, go. <laughs> Did you see that? It opened up and made the block fall slower. So you can try throwing your parachute. You can try, try dropping your parachute. And you can make your parachute different shapes maybe squares or circles or triangles out of all different materials. You can even experiment with the length of the string as well and the block or toy at the bottom. So much experimenting you can do at home with your parachute. You find a parachute that falls the slowest. Do you think you can make a parachute that falls to the count of three or maybe even to the count of five? You can experiment at home and find out. Have you ever seen a real parachute? You might have played with a parachute. We like playing with parachutes at science time. We give it a shake and we wake up the parachute. What's in the middle of a real parachute? There's a hole. I wonder why some parachutes have a hole in the middle. How would that change the way that your parachute falls? That's a good experiment to do at home. You can put a hole in the middle, maybe a small one or a larger one, or some holes around the side and experiment to see how that changes the way your parachute falls. There's so many wonderful experiments you can do at home with parachutes. And I want to see the results of your experiments. So you can take a video like I have today, or you can take a photo or draw a picture, and you can post your results online, or you can send them to me by email at Science Time. There's so much wonderful experimenting with parachutes to do. So I'm going to keep experimenting. You have fun experimenting at home and I'll see you next science time experimenting at home. Bye.